181 kilometers today between Blagnac and Rodez on a final ramp for this 14th stage of the Tour de France. The punchers are expected to contend a steep finish at the top of the Côte de Saint-Pierre. The line is reached at the end of 570 meters of hill, rising sharply at almost 10%. This is the same finish where Olympic champion Greg Van Avermaet overcame Peter Sagan in 2015 to become a star of the peloton. Two riders attack right from the start. At the front we find Thomas Volkler and Maxime Bouet. They are joined quickly by Thomas de Ghent, the eternal Baradeau who tries his luck again on the road to Rodez. He was in the breakaway in 2015. Reto Hollenstein joins the leaders after a chase, making five men in the lead, including Timo Rosen of Lotto and El Jumbo. At the intermediate sprint at 55 kilometers, De Ghent is the first rider to cross the line. In the peloton, it's Marcel Kittel who takes precious points. At the foot of the first climb of the day, the Côte de Viaduc de Vieux, Timo Rosen suffers a puncture. The bodies are tied in the breakaway and only Volkler can follow de Ghent on the Côte de Sainte. Timo Rosen makes a solo effort to rejoin the leaders. The peloton at this moment are at 1 minute and 40 seconds. The peloton start to bring back the fugitives and some sprinters like Marcel Kittel are dropped. At 30 kilometers from the line, De Ghent finally rids himself of Thomas Vaukler. He pushes on valiantly to try to win. But this is not a day that the teams of BMC and Sunweb are prepared to let go. 12 kilometers from the finish, he's brought back. There are some counter-attacks, but there's no answer to the speed of the peloton. The decision will happen on the final climb. Belgian champion Oliver Nazen strikes first. Philippe Gilbert counters. Van Avermet, the former Rodez winner, is there. The Belgian punchers are shining, but with a glint, Michael Matthews appears. He uses all his power to cross the line first. 26-year-old Australian Michael Matthews takes the bling at the end of stage 14. He gives his Sunweb team back-to-back -back wins in the tour. His second stage win after taking stage 10 in 2016. I think it was as expected. We um, we rode all day, and uh, yeah, when we kept the breakaway so close, I knew it was going to be hard to have a lot of teammates in the final there because we had to ride quite hard to bring uh, to Ghent back. Yeah, it was the perfect day. Michael Matthews wins stage 14 ahead of Olympic champion Greg Van Avermaet and Edvald Bosenhagen in third place. Interestingly though, Chris Froome is in seventh. That gives Froome the yellow jersey. Fabio Aru had a bad climb. He's now 19 seconds in arrears. Chris Froome back in the yellow jersey at the end of a tough second week. Tomorrow is another adventure in the Massif Central heading towards Puyon Valais. Before the rest day, this could see the breakaway succeed, but two climbs of first category on the menu could make this a tough day. It's difficult to predict we could see further twists and turns.